Hello, welcome back to our Hey Prof research scenario. We're on chapter four now. Because it's so large, we're gonna break it up into several smaller videos. Now, our overall goal here is to simply find case law that illustrates uh, the, uh, the four fair use factors that we learned about in, in uh, step two of the research process. Now, before we can uh, do that, we need to do skills 4.6 and 4.7. Now, skill 4.6 is simply to be aware of the court that we're in. We haven't been sued yet, but if we were sued, it would likely happen in the Eastern District of Michigan. So that's the Federal District Court for the Eastern District of Michigan. That's the, the trial court level. Now, if this weren't about litigation, by the way, uh, you always just assume that you're at the trial court level. And uh, the next skill is why that's important to know. All right, skill 4.7. This is where we, uh, are, we, we need to be aware of what's binding authority, what case law would bind the court we would end up in and would bind our client. So the first thing we'll look at is jurisdiction. If you look at this uh, map here, you'll see that uh, Detroit, which is where this, this research scenario happened, is in the Eastern District of Michigan. And if you look at the next Thing that we need to, for binding case law, that is court hierarchy. And the court that's higher up than the federal district court for the Eastern District of Michigan is the Sixth Circuit. So that means when we're researching and we want to find binding authority, we're looking for Sixth Circuit cases. And then above the Sixth Circuit would be the U.S. Supreme Court. So we're looking for Sixth Circuit cases and U.S. Supreme Court cases. Those would be uh, the two binding ones. And then, of course, we want them published. Technically, federal trial courts don't publish case law, as in they don't make it the law for the entire uh, federal jurisdiction. Uh, they, they can't do that, not even for their own jurisdiction. Um, but still, we, we do put some weight into federal district court cases. But we're really looking for the binding stuff, which would be from the Sixth Circuit or the Supreme Court. Now we found, looking at our, our plan here, we found Campbell, which is from the U.S. Supreme Court. So that is binding on our, on our client. And then we found a couple other cases, one from the Second Circuit, which is appellate, but it's a different circuit. That uh, is not binding. That would only be persuasive, but it still carries quite a bit of weight, so we're going to use it. And then Henley is uh, from a, a federal district court in California. CD is for the central district. So that is persuasive and that's gonna be the lowest. So when we write this up, if this were a brief or in our memo, we would start with Campbell because it's binding. Then we would go to the second circuit Leibowitz case because that's persuasive, but still it, it carries some good weight. And then finally, the last thing we would do is the district court case because it the, has the least weight. Okay, so that those are skills uh, 4.6 and 4.7. I'll see you on the next uh, uh, video here for skill 4.8, which is talking about how we find more case law. See you then.